Hey guys, and welcome back. It's time for part two of my drawing time lapse of the shark friends. I shared part one a few days ago where you can watch me sketch out this piece and ink it. And here in part two, you'll see the full coloring process in Adobe Illustrator. For this part of the recording process, I tried something a little different. So instead of recording my Cintiq screen, where I'm constantly moving around the canvas, zooming in and out, I decided to record a second window, a stationary window on my other monitor. I do zoom in on some details though of each of the sharks as the video continues so you get to see what's happening close up. I did promise in part one that I would share the shark names and species in this video so you'll know who's who and you'll get to meet 10 sharks in this video and their info will show up on the screen as each of them appear. As a fun play on words, Every one of my sharks is named after eating or some food related word. So in order of introduction within this video, we have Chomp the tiger shark, Munch the zebra shark, Nip the angel shark, Pinch the frilled shark. Think of that like a pinch of salt. We have Peck the oceanic white tip, Bite the great white shark, Nibble the hammerhead shark, Crush the lemon shark, Snap the thresher shark, and Nam the whale shark. So did you guys know that there are over 400 species of sharks? Now there's just no way for me to draw all 400 and add them to my shark friends, but I do have other shark characters in this family. I have five prehistoric sharks completed so far, and I just recently designed and released a new set of five sharks for my shop, including a basking shark, a leopard shark, an epaulette shark, a mako shark, and a sleeper shark. And I do have more sharks coming in the future. I think I have about 15 or 20 left to go on my list. When I design my sharks, I give them a set color palette as well as specific markings. So some sharks have stripes like chomp or munch. Some have spots like nip and crush. Whereas others are a little more interesting. Nibble has some diamonds. Peck has some hearts and Nam has some stars. And it's just a fun little way for me to keep the sharks unique and fun. So in terms of coloring, so far in this video, as well as most of my other Illustrator videos, you'll see that I'm starting off with big shapes in random colors. And that's because while I'm working, I don't want to be too worried about the actual colors of my sharks because those colors are already set and I really just want to focus on their patterns to make sure they stay on model. And most of my sharks have about four or five levels of color. So what I'm doing is making different layers of big shapes for each of the color levels and then trimming them all down to the flats using the Pathfinder tool. For more info on that, check out my Akane Tendo video where I give a mini tutorial on the Pathfinder tool. But after each shark is done, I group everything together, hide the shark, and then move on to the next one. And when I'm done with all the sharks and pleased with how all of them look as a whole, I quickly adjust their color levels to match the official colors that I've set for each of their designs. I have a color swatch library saved in Illustrator for my sharks for a quick and easy reference. And that's it for part two. Uh, this is the final part. The Shark Friends piece is complete, and like I said in part one, it's become one of my favorite pieces that I've done for my shop. If you haven't watched part one yet, make sure to do that. Uh, talk a little bit more about the thought process behind the composition. And before I sign off for this video, I want to hear what you all think. You've met 10 Shark Friends here, so I want to know who is your favorite. I know my personal favorite species of shark are zebra sharks but I think Nibble the Hammerhead Shark is my favorite design-wise. I've also got a poll that should show up on the left. I want to hear what you guys think my next shark should be. And if you're interested in seeing merch with this artwork or other items with my shark characters on them, head on over to my online shop, bitesizetreasure.com. There will be a link in the description below. I've got lots of fun things to pick from, charms, buttons, stickers, you name it. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comment section below who your favorite shark is, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.